Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Now in today's video, we're going to start this new chapter of cost accounting. As you can see over here, batch costing. And this is a very simple chapter. There is not much to learn over here. It's kind of similar to job costing, which we have seen in the previous videos. So first, let's understand the concept of this and then we'll slowly move on to the problems. Okay, so see here, batch costing is a method of costing, which is used in industries where production is carried out in batches. So this technique of costing is applied in only those industries where the production takes place in batches, in groups. Okay, at a time, 10,000 units will be produced. For example, if you talk about toys manufacturing industry, let's say there is one Doraemon toy. Yeah, so that Doraemon toy will be produced in what? In groups. Maybe at a time, you know, 10,000 Doraemons will be produced. Yeah, so in those type of industries, this technique of costing is applied. The examples are see here pharmaceutical industries yeah medicines and all that snack food industries the biscuits chocolates ice creams chips yeah all these things toys manufacturing industries spare parts manufacturing industries and you can also think about you know ready-made garment factory yeah so all these industries use what they use batch costing so now what happens in batch costing let's understand that yeah so see the specific meaning over here batch costing is a type of specific order costing where articles are manufactured in predetermined lots this is very important see here predetermined lots now the company has to decide beforehand itself how much they are going to produce in one batch because in one batch there will be lots and lots of units so how much they will produce they have to decide that beforehand itself so that's why it's called predetermined lots known as a batch fine this method is used this batch costing method is used to ascertain cost and profit of specific batch or units in specific batch yes that's what we did in the what do you say in job costing also yeah that's what we do first we asset in the cost of that add a certain percentage of profit we get the selling price yeah that's what we do right so that's batch costing now let's see some features about that see here each batch is treated as a cost unit now you know compare this with the job costing in job costing we used to consider a single job as a cost unit here what is happening the manufacturing is taking place on the basis of batches it is taking place on the basis of batches in groups so that whole group that whole batch will be treated as a cost unit yeah so all the cost and the expenses that have been incurred will be accumulated per batches see here all costs are accumulated and ascertained for each batch separately so what they will have to do they will have to prepare a separate batch cost sheet the same like job costing only in job costing also what we used to do we used to prepare a separate cost sheet that's the same thing we are going to do over here see here a separate batch cost sheet is used for each batch and is assigned a certain number by which the batch is identified now i'll give you a, a real example see here i have this medicine over here yeah so if you see this medicine on the back side yeah see here batch number gtn191821 so a specific number is given and this medicine is of that batch all right this production yeah this unit is of that batch and in that which maybe there was you know 10000 medicines it can happen the company will have to decide that how much units they are going to produce in one batch predetermined lots yeah so a separate number will be given through which the batch will be identified same like in job costing also each job used to be given a number right same way here also the batch will have a specific number through which it will be identified is that okay right and then see here the cost per unit is ascertained by dividing the total cost of a batch by the number of items produced in that batch yeah if you want to calculate what is the cost of see here if you talk about see here in this box there are 10 tablets yeah so if you want to know what's the you know the cost of one tablet then what you'll have to do you will have to take the total cost of the batch of this batch yeah of this gtn something batch take the total cost divide by the number of tablets in that batch right that's what they have said see here the cost per unit is ascertained by dividing the total cost of a batch by the number of items produced in that batch yeah simple as that so this is the concept of batch costing there's nothing to teach here actually yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to see the problems but there's one more important thing that is there in batch costing that is called ebq economic batch quantity yeah i've told you that the company will have to decide beforehand itself how much they are going to produce in one batch yeah so that number 
has to be what it has to be economical they can't just decide it just like that no they can't do it right so see here there's a concept regarding that and a formula to calculate how much we are going to you know produce in a single batch yeah so that's what see here economic batch quantity ebq we have seen this yeah eoq you remember in material costing it's kind of same only the methodology everything is same see here ebq refers to the optimum quantity batch which should be produced at a point of time so that the setup and processing cost and carrying cost are together optimized and minimized minimized also okay so in eoq economic ordering quantity we used to have carrying cost yeah you remember and ordering cost now here here in economic batch quantity we don't have ordering cost we have setup and processing cost because to manufacture these items yeah what will be happening they will have to prepare the machinery and everything for each batches so there will be some setup and processing cost involved there is no ordering cost over here we are not doing material costing over here we are doing batch costing so to prepare the batch for processing what will be there there will be some setup cost so you know as the number of batches increases as the number of batches increases what will happen the setup cost will be more isn't it if there is only one batch then setup cost will be there if the batches increases number of batches increases then what will happen what will happen the setup and processing cost will also increase compare this with the eoq in eoq if there were supposed to be more orders number of orders if the number of orders were more then what used to happen the ordering cost used to be more isn't it so the same logic is there over here yeah so you have to see this see here batch size see here batch size if the batch size now what's the batch size how many number of units in a single batch that's the batch size okay that's a batch quantity only batch size so if the batch size is more yeah if the batch size is more compare this with the eoq in eoq we had order size how many quantity we will order each time so here we are talking about how many quantity we are going to produce in single batch right so batch size and carrying cost is positively related if batch size increases then carrying cost will also increase yeah the storing cost actually yes if the batch size decreases carrying cost will also decrease and batch size and setup and processing cost is negatively related they are negatively related if batch size increases setup and processing cost will be less think logically it's very simple if you are increasing the batch size for example let's say in a year you need you know 1 lakh units all right and let's say you are preparing that entire 1 lakh in just one go in only one batch then what will happen you will have to incur only one setup and processing cost because in only one batch you are making 1 lakh units but let's say you are decreasing the batch size you are making the batch size to let's say 10000 so if you are making that 10000 then you will need 10 batches to cover that 1 lakh annual demand then what will happen setup and processing cost will be 10 times isn't it isn't it yeah it will be 10 times so it will be more so this these are what these are negatively related if this is more this is less if this is more this is less like that okay and carrying cost is positively related why is that because if the batch size is more what will happen the entire thing will be ready at once and all of that you will have to store at once all that 1 lakh units yeah if the batch size is more if the batch size is less then it each time you will be having less units ready and you will be storing them you know less right so that's what you understand that yeah you already know the eoq so this is not a big deal for you economic ordering quantity it's same only it's just that we don't have ordering cost over here we have setup and processing cost the ideology and the relationship is same only in the eoq also if we had order size and we had what ordering cost they were what negatively related and these were positively related order size and carrying cost all right the, the logic is same fine just the names are different okay so the formula also you all know the same eoq formula okay ebq is equal to the root of 2 as divided by c now here we have setup and you know setup cost per batch so that's what you're going to take the rest is same only carrying cost per unit per year now understand sometime in question what they do is they give you carrying cost per unit per month you will have to convert that into year because here in the formula we take carrying cost per unit per year okay keep that in mind don't mess that up so you will take the annual demand how much you need in the you know in your factory in your business that's your annual demand yeah and then you have setup cost per batch it will be given to you in the question you will take that and divided by the carrying cost per unit per year per year okay so that's it 
right? So now what we're gonna do is, you understood, right? What is economic batch quantity and the batch costing concept also, you understood, it's very simple. Now what we're gonna do is, let's just, you know, solve one problem of EBQ so that it'll be clear with this, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Now here we have a simple example of economic batch quantity. Let's understand how we're gonna calculate that. See, it's very simple. The first thing that have been given to us is annual demand. The units that are required for the business in a year, that is 2,400 units, yeah? And then setting up cost per batch is given, that is rupees 100. Yes, we require that in the formula. Yeah, we have A, we have S also, right? And then they have given us manufacturing cost per unit rupees 200. Is this required? No, it's not required. But if you can see carefully, carrying cost per unit is given as 6% per annum. Now, what do we have to do? We have already seen this in economic ordering quantity. Yeah, it used to happen in material costing also. Carrying cost per unit used to be given like this. What we used to do? We used to take 6% of the purchasing cost. Yeah, here what do we have? We have manufacturing cost given. So you have to understand the purpose of that. You have to take 6% of manufacturing cost per unit. And that's how you're going to be calculating the carrying cost. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to calculate the carrying cost. Is that okay? Right. So let's input all the things here. We have annual demand. We have setup cost per batch. That is rupees 100. And carrying cost we can easily calculate here. See here, 200 is the manufacturing cost per unit. So 200 into 6%, 0 0.06. That's 6%. That's equal to rupees 12. Yeah. So see, just input that. EBQ is equal to the root of 2AS divided by C. So 2 into 2400. Yeah. A. And then I'm going to take what the setting up cost per batch rupees 100 divided by 6% of 200. 6% of 200 we just calculated that was rupees 12. Yeah. If you put all of that into calculator, see here 2 into 2400 into 100 that's equal to 4 like 80,000. 4 like 80,000 divided by 12 that's equal to 40,000. Root of 40,000 is equal to 200. So our economic batch quantity, the most optimum quantity which we should produce, you know, in a single batch, that is 200. Why is it EBQ? Why it's economic batch quantity? Because if we produce 200, yeah, in a single batch, then what will happen? Our, you know, setup and carrying cost will be optimized. By optimized, we mean that it will be minimum. That's the best quantity. That's the best quantity of a batch. That's why it is called EBQ, economic batch quantity. EBQ refers to the optimum quantity batch which should be produced at a point of time so that the setup cost and carrying cost are together optimized and minimum. Is that okay? Right, so this is EBQ. Now, from the following videos, what we're going to do is we're going to see more comprehensive problems on EBQ, okay? And we're going to solve that. Right, so here you have a bit idea about how you're going to calculate the simple problem. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video, yeah? Bye.